Well, hey guys, uh, this will be part three of my 2020 census data breakdown series. And someone pointed out to me that um, a lot of people in Clarksburg got new street, street addresses 2013, 2014 as part of the uh, 911 mapping project. Um, this is particularly true in Arbutus, you know, that little uh, portion of Clarksburg that's surrounded by Nutter Fort. Um, they used Nutter Fort street names and um, block numbering and stuff, and it caused a serious problem because the same addresses would also exist, uh, at, say, in Glen Elk or Northview. Um, you know, did this can't cause an undercount uh, in, in 2010 census? It may have. Um, you know, if half of our butus is missing, uh, and that would also have affected our federal funding over the last 10 years. Okay, so let's proceed only for the sake of argument and assume that the population count's correct. Um, we still lost about 530 people. And at 2.2 people a house, that, that comes up something like uh, 23 homes. Um, I'm not doing the math in my head, I already did this before. <laughs> uh, but then you gotta figure, that, that might even be too low of a number um, uh, because the homes that would come vacant would probably be occupied by widowers or widows or people living by themselves, you know, old people. But let's, let's just assume we got about 20 to 25 homes a year that are coming vacant. And if we don't board them up and if vagrants get in them and then we have to demolish them, that's say 25 houses a year, 300,000 a year dollars a year just to stay on top of the problem but we still got this backlog of 800 houses and if we want to clear that out in the next 10 years it means we've got to demolish an additional 80 houses a year so say 100 100 houses a year 1.2 million a year on average uh, you know it's important that we know we need to know how many houses we have. We need to actually have this number and hopefully the Census Bureau can get it for us. And then hopefully our code office can go around and classify these houses and, and check on them and see which ones are bad, which ones just need to be boarded up. Uh, we need to go about this systematically. We need to have actual count and actual data. You know, nobody who wants to stay in business very long uh, operates on the basis of, of how they feel about whether or not they make, they're making money. No. You go in and you count your receipts every day at the end of the day and you put that money in the bank and you keep a ledger of everything you spend and you know whether or not you're in the green. And if you don't do that, you're not going to be in business very long. But that's how we've operated as a city with our housing stock. We don't know what we got, we've just got a bunch of feelings. And this is why we're in the mess we're in. And I really, really, really hope we stop operating this way. I'll holler at you later.